All right, good evening. Uh, let's do a quick video on the graphical changes to supply and demand. So, uh, ooh, that was really dark, no, that's okay. All right, so I've got uh, X, Y uh, coordinate here, and that bugs me a little bit, so I'll do that one. Okay, so on the Y axis is always price, and then the X axis is always quantity. And so I've got some kind of market here. Okay, here's my San Diego, and uh, you know this probably should be a little straighter, but uh, whatever. Okay, so let's say that there's been an increase in demand. Demand has gotten um, has increased, and there's just more demand. So we've got some kind of equilibrium price here. Okay, we'll call that P1. Okay. And there's been an increase in demand. So th what this means is that every price level, um, there's more quantity demanded. So it's going to look like you know, this new demand curve. We usually denote that as D1. Okay. Now at this price, okay, because the supply curve didn't change, we have this lower, um, this lower quantity supplied, and so the the market needs to adjust. But the quantity demanded at this new uh, equilibrium from where we were has increased too. Okay, so now we've got a situation where um, we've got a shortage. We've got the quantity demanded is higher than the quantity supplied, and so what the firms are going to need to do is make sure that it matches their quantity supplied at equilibrium. And this is going to put upward pressure on the price. We'll call this P2. And P2 is higher than P1. One way to look at this is there's a zero right here. Okay. And then this is the quantity. The quantity is increased. So this is uh, what happens. Now on the uh, demand side, we get a little bit less quantity demanded because of that higher price. So market will market will come to equilibrium at this point right here if a demand. If there's a demand increase. Okay, so that's demand increase. Next, let's do demand decrease. So if there's a demand decrease in a market, okay, and now we're cooking with gas here. Got these guys going. Okay, all right. So <clears throat> uh, instead of demand increase, let's do demand decrease. Okay, so here's our San Diego. Here's our market at equilibrium, we'll call that P1. For some reason, the demand has decreased. Okay, this decreases demand. And now we're out of equilibrium at this higher price. Okay, there's less quantity demanded, which is right here, uh, than there is quantity supplied. So uh, firms are going to put this thing on sale. Okay. Uh, now at that lower price, the quantity demand is going to increase. We're going to go down to P2. And what happens to the quantity? Well, the quantity is going to decrease also. Okay, this is demand decrease. Okay. Right, next, two supply changes. Okay, we'll use a different color. Let's see the red here. So here's our demand. Here's our supply. Okay, so this is supply, this is demand. Let's say that the supply increases for whatever reason. So I was right about here, we'll call that P1. And now I've got this new supply curve. Draw a couple of arrows here. Okay. And at that new supply or that increase in supply, we see downward pressure towards that new equilibrium price. And the quantity is going to increase. Okay, so this is supply increase. Usually denote that as S1 there. Okay, I think I can do this. Yeah, okay. So now we'll do like uh, this green. No, we already did green, right? What color? Purple. There we go. All right, so now instead of a supply increase, it's going to be a supply decrease. So now it's going to change the supply curve. So here's our old equilibrium price, but now we've got the new supply curve. The supply has shifted to the left. 
okay and this puts upward pressure on the price okay, it's going to be harder for firms to, to produce as much buyers don't want to buy as many at that new equilibrium so our quantity in equilibrium has declined and this is the supply decrease graph